Hi, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Danny from The Glitter Rose. Today I've got a bit of a different project. I've used my brand new Silhouette 5 to cut the gorgeous mouse, but I've also used some more traditional card making techniques. So I thought we could easily meld the two together and I think it's made a really cute card. So if this is of any interest, please be sure to stick around. Um, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm very close to 200, which is exciting. So I'd love it if you joined us and subscribed as well. Thanks. So here are all my little pieces cut out. I used my Silhouette 5 and the electrostatic mat, which I think is incredible. And I've cut all the little pieces out using different cardstock. I really like textured cardstock for um, paper piecing. I think it picks up your blending really nicely and it looks looks really good. So I've used textured card where I can and I'm going to ink blend some details. For the ink blending on these paper pieces I'm using a mixture of Ulta New and Pink Fresh inks. I think you should just use what you have and as Ulta New and Pink Fresh are designed for ink blending, I think it's a really good choice. I'm also using my favorite blending brushes, which are the Ulta New ones. So I'm just adding some color nice and smoothly. Um, it's important to remember that cardstock really, really sucks up your ink. So um, the blotches will even out and so will your colour. I'm going to speed through my um, blending so you're not sitting here for an hour watching me blend but you'll get an idea of how I do it. And now comes the fun bit, which is gluing all together. So for this, you just need to take your time and make sure that you glue down the um, areas that are back further and then the ones that are at the front, they go on last. So you just need to work it out. Sometimes it helps if you um, build it all before you start gluing and then you know where they go. What appeals to me with a um, cutting machine like a Silhouette or a Cricut is that the files are a lot cheaper than the metal dies. So in Australia, um, an, a complicated metal die, say from Tim Holtz, can be $40 or more, um, whereas a file, I can pay $0.35 cents US, you know, and it does the same thing. It's actually, I think it's actually quicker with my electric static mat to cut all the shapes out that way than cutting them manually in a die cutting machine. So to me, it really, it really appeals. And that's why I got one. I'm just going over with some more shading because like I said, the cardstock really sucks up the ink. So I'm just adding a bit more depth to my shading. I'm going to finish building this little mousey and I'll be back. I'll do that off camera. Okay, so she's all built and I'm going to add some facial fe features now. I'm using my Micron um, felt tip pen just to add some eyelashes. And then I'll use my gel pen to, add, to pop some light on her nose and eyes. I don't have any grey pan pastels to add some extra shading, so I've mixed in um, black with white. It's not perfect, but I think it gives a nice shading. So I'm just going to go around and shade her dress and her face and all the places where I think it needs it with some of my pan pastels. I love this part. 
I love this part. It's when the characters really come to life. You can see, you know, their own personalities coming out. So Mousy is quite large. So I'm popping her on a 5x7 card. I've already got the card base ready. Um, I've grabbed out some lovely peach coloured card stock, which I've trimmed off a quarter of an inch off the length and width. So it will have a bit of a white border when it goes on the card. Ba card. And I'm just doing some ink blending around the corners just so that when the mouse is on it, it, it will bring your eye to the middle of the card. So I'm just ink blending this till it's nice and smooth. But I'm not worrying too much because it'll be, I'm going to put it through a 3D embossing folder. So you won't be able to see, you know, too much of the um, blending details anyway. So I've stamped a sentiment from Beyond Happy by Pink Fresh Studio in a black ink and I am heat embossing that just to make sure it's nice and set. And I'm going to dye that out along with three um, plain cardstock just to build that up so it's nice and solid to go on the card. So I've glued it all down and she's nearly finished and now it's time for embellishments. I've chosen a gorgeous, I'm not sure what the colour is, it's like a goldy pinkish colour shifting um, crystal and I think that they look absolutely perfect on there and I'm just gluing them down. I should mention that this beautiful cutting file is from Little Scraps of Heaven. Their files are beautiful. They go together really well. They're well priced and look how cute, it, cute she is. I kind of think of this card as a little bit of hybrid. There's the modern um, electronic cutting machine along with your traditional card making supplies. And I think you know, bringing the two together, they're just, they work really well. And, you know, I've made a really lovely card using different technologies and techniques, and I'm really happy. If you like this card, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.